Welcome everybody. It is Crypto Moose and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. We are going to be talking about five cryptocurrencies that I think are an absolute steal right now. So I've got five cryptos to buy now. Um, nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice. So before we dive into it, before I give you the magic picks, you guys have to be a subscriber and you have to like the video. If you don't do it, then I don't know. I mean, there's not really much I can do about it, is there? I mean, everything's on YouTube, but what I will say is that I will love you even more if you do subscribe and like and comment. So what you can do as well, if you want to, um, share your top five picks. So these are my top five picks right now. So we are currently February 21st of 2024. And what's important is that I pick these projects because they're simply down in price. There's nothing wrong with the project. So you can imagine that, you know, when you're investing, there are certain projects that you invest into, tokens that you like in the case of crypto. And, you know, when something goes on sale, you kind of want to pounce on it. So that's what we're getting at in this video. So number one and the first three are going to be projects that have a higher market cap and then the other ones are low cap. So number one, Solana. So if you do the seven day drop down, that's kind of where I got some of this as well, plus some other research. But Solana right now is down 12%. Um, I think it was like 15% at one point. Um, so the reason Solana is a good project and specifically on the week, on the month, we're still up with Sol, but Solana is a major layer one player. You can imagine that at this current point in time, today we are Wednesday, February 21st, when you're watching this, probably Thursday or Friday, this crypto project, this is a layer one that's faster than ETH, that kinda has that VC vibe to it, and it's just, it's it's got that hold on the crypto space. So it's, it's much lower in market cap than ETH, but it can do basically everything ETH does other than really, um, you know, maintain and stay up. Um, sometimes the blockchain shuts down, whatever. Um, but I don't really see it as an issue going forward because Solana has been crushing it and everybody's talking about Sol. There's Sol NFTs. The transaction speeds are quite amazing, uh, much faster than ADA. Um, I have to give it that. So even on the year, up 315% for a layer one, that's quite good. Um, and if you look at all time, it hasn't even gotten to its all time high. So if you are someone who's been getting into soul, if you've been using, you know, Jupe, the DEX aggregator, then, you know, this is a token that you've been playing with and it's a great time to accumulate more if that's what you wanna do. Nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice. Invest at your own risk, just wanna mention that. So that's Solana, um, and that's gonna be my number one pick. I, I think it's a good potential opportunity if that's what you've been looking into. Number two, that's going to be AVAX Avalanche down 13%, so very similar. This also has a pretty large market cap. You know, it's a top, what is it, top 10, top 20 project. So it's up there. Um, I don't invest in AVAX, we're down, what, 13%, and again, but we're up kind of on the year. On the year, we're up massive. Um, with AVAX. And when, when we say we're, I'm talking about AVAXonians or whoever you guys are. Um, I know I've heard the term like Cardonians or whatever. Um, but all time, it's a great blockchain where, you know, the, there's going to be that big, you know, gaming narrative, especially with Alex Becker and everybody else. And AVAX has kind of taken a back seat for a little bit, but now it's crushing it. So even if you look on the, mo the one month and the one year, you know, like this is a time to kind of get more, right? Because today we're down 4%. It just hit seven, you know, on the seven day, the one week, it's down almost 15%. So it's a great time to accumulate more AVAX, in my opinion, if you're looking to get some Bitcoin halving um, happening in like 60 days. So that's the first two. Next one, Chainlink. Chainlink. So Chainlink is helping... Um, with interoperability between chains. There's not really anything like it. I guess, you know, crypto oracles, um, if you will. But AVAX, or sorry, Chainlink has a mega opportunity. Um, it's up 
quite a bit this year. 142% all time, smashing it, crushing it. And there really isn't any competition for Chainlink. So even if you go through it, I have to, I have to do a lot more research on Chainlink because a lot of people I know have been talking about it. So I recommend you guys check it out. Um, but the best way to put it is that it's how it's an Oracle network, decentralized Oracle network, and it allows blockchains to securely interact with external data feed. So ultimately it's the synergy interoperability between uh, blockchains and, you know, chain links going to bridge that because you have a lot of different cryptos. You got, you know, your Bitcoin, you have ETH, you have uh, Cardano, then you have AVAX, you have Solana, all these different blockchains and Chainlink can, you know, communicate um, what's going on with these different chains, right? So you can imagine that, you know, Chainlink's kind of like a hub and it's going to play a big role in this next bull run. So that's gonna be number three, very short and sweet, very simple, but a mega project and you know, in my opinion, it could even be the simplest for sure pick. Um, again, nothing's for sure, but it's a good opportunity. So now let's get into some lower cap projects. We've got Cornucopia's Kopi. Um, this, by the way, so the first, I own a little bit of Solana. I have zero AVAX. I have zero link. Actually, I might have like 0 0.5 link, but I have like less than 50 bucks. Um, Kopi is my number one investment. And the reason being is because this is a triple A level game where they already have NFTs. They've done a bunch of sales. And the thing with Cornucopia is, is that the community's there, the team's there, and I'm just extremely bullish. So do your own research, but gaming as a narrative is gonna do well. It's simple to understand. And there's nothing that's built with Unreal Engine 5 that looks like Kopi. There's nothing even close. So right now, Kopi has been dumping. Um, by the way, somebody's photoshopping images of the moose, posting them, get your bags ready. Ah, that's kind of cool. I guess I'm like a crypto Kopi influencer. Um, but this is the point here, down 13%. And on the month, we're even down 5%. Um, but on the year, we're up 130%. So my average buy is about two, two and a half cents. So about here. Um, if you zoom out, I mean, it hasn't run yet. So Cornucopia is a mega opportunity to see mega gains. I'm talking 50 to 100x, very possible. Um, if this project hits five bucks in the next two, three years, I wouldn't be surprised. So, you know, I would check out Cornucopias. And if you, the way you want to think about Kopi is that it's not really talked about and it's not chain agnostic. So, um, you can pick up Kopi using BNB. So you can go from BNB to Kopi. So the Binance Smart Chain. Um, and you could also use Ethereum and pick up some Kopi. You could also use Cardano to pick up Kopi. So it's not chain agnostic. The contracts, if you take a look here, uh, make sure that you're using the right contracts. So they're right here. Um, you could add to your MetaMask. That's a simple way. But if you guys want to pick up Kopi, I've done tons of videos on the channel. So in fact, if you go to Crypto Moose, type in Kopi. And I've got specific videos on how to buy it. So right here, ETH Kopi, ETH Kopi, um, and then I also have BNB Kopi. So if you don't know how to buy it, that's how you get it, if you're interested. So a lot of things I can talk about with Kopi, that's just one of them. So the final pick, let's get into it. That is going to be Meld. M-E-L-D. So Meld, let's see what we got going on here. Meld is suppressed. Meld is down as it usually is. I thought about even selling some up here, like two cents, wherever it was at. This thing goes up, down, up, down, up, down, and just trade sideways. Like this is probably, man, if I could trade something, I should do Meld. But at the end of the day, I don't know. I don't know long term. So Meld all time. It's down 91%. Um, this is one of the greatest opportunities in crypto. Um, I've also secured a interview with someone in Meld. I won't talk about who it is or what we're gonna talk about, but this project is awesome. So Meld is a non-custodial crypto, um, sorry, 
It's a non-custodial layer one crypto lending and borrowing protocol. And they're building a website, which is already built. You can actually stake your meld if you can get in. And this is, a, this is one of those opportunities in cryptos where it's like this thing could just go nuts. So ultimately we're down 91%. So 91% down on a token, that's a good opportunity. Now, I actually would, wouldn't even view it like that. So I got into the ISPO, meaning I got in when the tokens were first, like when, when they first came out. And they came out at like, you know, when people were selling them, the market cap was higher. And it's found its place around two cents, I would say. One to two cents, that's the price of meld. So I got a bunch of meld. Actually, when I say a bunch, it wasn't that much. I didn't have a lot of time. I maybe got like six, 7,000 meld for the airdrop. So that's where I got my diamond hands, NFT, et cetera. Now with Meld, it's down 91% all time. On the year, it's down 20%. And I was afraid that this wouldn't happen for so long because what they're doing is they're building an all-in-one application for your phone and for desktop where using your non-custodial wallet, meaning you own your private keys, you can view all of your crypto and you could do lending and borrowing. You could do all of your banking with fiat with Meld. So Meld is a layer one and you can imagine that you have your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, Cardano, your Binance, your Kopi, all your assets and you could do lending and borrowing and you can stake your Meld and you use Meld um, for gas fees. So let me take you through what the Meld app looks like. So if you wanna go, I have tons of videos on this. I have tutorials, check it out. Um, so go to meld.com and you're gonna click on the Meld app. So once you do that, you're gonna see this page and I recommend you set up a new wallet. I've done videos on Meld, so check those out. Um, so I'm gonna put in my password and what you can do is you can view your portfolio and right now you can stake your Meld. That'll be a different video. Um, but the pools close pretty swiftly. So here I've got my non-custodial wallet and I've also got um, my Trezor hooked up. So I do have a little bit of Kopi on this Trezor and I have some NFTs. And when you stake, what's cool is when you do your staking, okay? So I still have some stakeable assets, but all the pools are closed. Or one's open, it's probably closed. Yeah. I can't even stake. So for those of you that are wondering, yes, it's like impossible to get in. Um, so anyways, you've got these staked assets. So once you stake, what's cool with Meld is that you get like this, this NFT. So if I click here, I'm earning 9% with this position. It's 62,000 Meld. And this is what it looks like. So you can imagine that when you, um, when you do a lock staking, so that means when you lock up your funds, meaning you earn a yield, you earn a, um, a higher yield typically for locking your stake. So you can imagine you do 10,000 tokens um, for one year. Well, if you pull out of your position, you're gonna lose the interest that you would have earned. But if you leave it, then you could sell that NFT, you could sell this to someone, they could take your position and you, um, yeah, you can kind of get out of your position that way. So I've done the liquid. As you can see here, this is a six month. I'm earning roughly five and a half percent. In my one years are earning roughly nine, 10%. Um, so this is really cool. Um, but you know, when we take a look at my wallet here, you go to assets, okay? You can see all the different assets I own with my Trezor Model T. So basically I have meld on meld and I have tons of videos on this. Um, I show you guys how to get set up, how to stake. But Meld is a layer one where you can imagine that you connect your hardware wallet, whatever it may be, and you do all of your banking. They also have an app. Um, I'm an early tester on this, so let me pull it up for you. I'll try not to show too much, but you gotta get loose sometimes, right? So you can imagine that similar to this desktop app, you also have this phone app. So I'm gonna put in my code. And you can imagine that you have a, a meld red debit card and you can view 
your portfolio, do all of your crypto banking here. So what you could do is let's say crypto goes up 100X and you have some meld. Well, you don't wanna sell your meld, taxable event. You take your debit card, you can imagine this is a meld debit card and you could use this for your banking. You can use your crypto and pay for things and convert to fiat upon transaction. That was one of the ideas. So I don't know if all this is gonna happen the way I'm talking about it, but that's kind of been the vibe, the, the thoughts. So here you can view all your assets and you put in your private key. So you get your seed phrase and you can use either the desktop or the mobile. So this thing is awesome. And I have a lot of faith in, in Ken and everybody else involved. And this is the future of crypto, non-custodial DeFi lending and borrowing protocol. And if we go to the price, there is still a mega opportunity. You're talking about, I mean, self-reporting circulating supply. A lot of the tokens are out and the market cap is just low. This thing could go bananas. So this is like my top two or three position. I love it. I love this. So comment down below if you agree with these picks or not. Um, if you guys are interested, pick up an NFT. We've got Ada plates selling. So these are really cool. If you guys want to pick up a, a plate, like what, what is your plate? Um, these have been designed by Kevin Gardeen, an artist, and uh, Crypto Moose and APF partnered on this. So for nine ADA, you still have like 30 days. Pick one up if you guys are interested. So we have different names. Um, there have only been two golden plates minted. So if you guys mint the gold plate, you win um, a huge wallet address. You even win like a diamond hands and whatnot. Um, so that's really cool. I might have, anyways, we'll, we'll go through it in a different video. We also have the Loose Moose NFTs. So this is the official Crypto Moose channel NFT. Guys, they're like 10 bucks. They sold out in an hour. I should have minted more, but um, you know, I, I didn't know they were, they were gonna crush it. So if you are interested in potential giveaways, so the idea is because you own one, I have access to um, finding everybody's wallet pretty easily, it's public blockchain. So if you are a giveaway winner, meaning if I do a giveaway in the channel, I'm going to prioritize the Loose Moose NFT holders. So if you have one, you could potentially be the winner. Um, that's going to be for airdrops for tokens and more. So if I bring on a guest and they have something to offer, I'm gonna airdrop something to you guys. So that's for the NFTs. Also, pick up a hardware wallet, save up to 25% off a Trezor, a Tangium. Um, these can be expensive, but you can save up to 25% off using my links. And I also have online courses, so check them out. You guys should always be learning. And that's all we have for you. So comment down below. What are your top five picks right now? These are not my top five crypto picks in terms of macro perspective. It's just right now, these are low. These are on sale. We'll see you in the next one.